in the Medicaid program, what we need to do is essentially mainstream the Medicaid population. Medicaid is actually not very good insurance for the vast majority of people that are on the program. It, um, it pays very low reimbursement rates to doctors and hospitals. Uh, that means that if you're on Medicaid, yes, you have insurance, but it may not be uh, the kind of insurance where you can actually access care on a very um, immediate basis. Um, so what we should do for the Medicaid population is allow them to pick from the same insurance options that people in the working age population utilize. Uh, to do that, uh, I would recommend uh, extending the uh, tax break that we are, we talked about changing the tax treatment of health insurance. Let's just say we gave a tax credit to people instead of uh, um, what's today a tax preference for employer paid premiums. If you gave a tax credit to everyone, uh, that would also be eligible to people that are currently on the Medicaid program. That would allow them to start to get into the uh, mainstream insurance system. And then you could use the Medicaid program to supplement that tax credit because they are very low income and pay the balance of their premiums through an additional subsidy mechanism. This would be a way of getting Medicaid people out of Medicaid into the regular insurance system. And it also would be essentially welfare reform in a certain sense. And that uh, today when people lose, uh, make more money and move up the wage scale, they often can lose their Medicaid coverage and end up in a worse situation. Uh, what we want to do is get them into the same insurance system as everyone else so that as they move up the wage scale, they stay with the same insurance, they don't lose it, and it becomes much more seamless for them to improve their working situation without affecting their health.